Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunerie Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunerie Financial a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. Learn more at labrunery.com or by calling 573-449-5313. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Monday, October the 16th. Good to have you with us. I want to introduce you to Jen Davis. Good to have you back, Jen. Uh, Missouri River Relief, the last time you were on the show, we were talking about your performing uh, with what? Talking Horse Theater. Talking Horse Theater, that's right, you're an actress. But you're here today not to talk about your acting ability, but to talk about Missouri River Relief. What, yes, what, what's I'm wearing my river hat today. <laughs> yeah, what, what's the message today you want to get on with your river hat? Sure, well, we have a really exciting event coming up. Missouri River Relief is hosting the Boonville River Cleanup mm -hmm. on Saturday, October 21st. Okay. And so that's really close to home. It's an, an amazing event that anybody, whether they have experience on the Missouri River or not, can come and help make a huge difference. So how do you do the, the cleanup on the river? Right. Well, we uh, have a bunch of boats. Missouri River Relief has a fle fleet of boats, and we also partner with the Department of Conservation, Fish and Wildlife Service, the MU School of Natural Resources, and we are there um, to take hundreds of people, uh, all ages and abilities, out on the Missouri River to clean up sites that contain lots of trash. Mm -hmm. And that's trash that could have been washed down from flooding um, and also upstream communities if if you're walking around Columbia and you see a piece of trash on the sidewalk, you, it could end up, it in, could the, end up in, in the, the river drain. and inevitably will unless someone picks it up because it goes, like you said, it washes into the storm drain and then the sewers go directly into the streams and the creeks that are the tributaries to the Missouri River, uh, which then feeds into the Mississippi and the Gulf and then the ocean. So what we're trying to do is to make an impact locally and clean up the trash that has been deposited on the riverbank of the Missouri um, to help keep that from happening and to clean up the environment. And it's a great way for people to experience the Missouri River firsthand in a way they might not otherwise have the opportunity. And many of the people, I would imagine, who come out to assist with the cleanup have never been on the river before. That's right. We get almost, uh, I would say, my guess is a quarter to a half of the people who come and participate in our river cleanups have never been on the Missouri so River before. So it's a before. wonderful experience for them. That's Plus right. Plus they're helping the community. Now you said something just a minute ago mm -hmm. about litter or trash that you see on the street or on the sidewalk or on the road. One way or another, there's a very good chance that that trash is going to end up in streams, which then go to the river, mm -hmm. which then goes to the Gulf, which goes to the ocean. So you're not, if, if, if you're polluting here, you drop a cigarette butt here or a mm -hmm. piece of trash, you're not just polluting your area, which I can never understand why somebody litters in the in the first place right but you're 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 littering and polluting the planet itself that's right and so missouri river relief uh, focuses a lot on stewardship events that help to mitigate that problem and we've been around for 16 years and i just want to throw some kind of amazing numbers out which uh, in that time in 16 years missouri river relief has facilitated cleanups and we've removed 875 tons of trash tons. and that's actually a million and a half pounds of trash which is the equivalent of 350 elephants. And doing a good job, <laughs> you're doing a good job. All right, if people want to come out and be part of the cleanup, uh, what do they need to do? They should go to riverrelief.org and they'll find all the details about the Boonville River cleanup and they can pre-register there, which is really important because then we'll know how much lunch to get for everyone. Okay, because if you come to the lunch. cleanup, you get free lunch, a free t-shirt, a water bottle, and an amazing time and a big muddy boat ride. Yeah, and you plus, you got a good feeling that you help clean things That's up. That's right. Jen Davis, thank you so much. Please come back again. Thank you, Paul. Okay, Missouri River Relief. Now I want to turn to Ann Bickle, who is with us, Missouri Coalition for Quality Care. And you want to talk about mainly 
Bill of Rights for people who are in long-term care facilities, yes. right? Yes. Our organization, uh, the whole mission we have is to advocate for good care for uh, seniors and disabled who either need in-home care or they live in a long-term care facility. Mm -hmm. October is a Residents' Rights Month, and in 1987, uh, Congress passed the um, uh, Nursing Home Reform Act, and it set out about a dozen things that residents in long-term care could expect. Okay. Three of my favorite are free from abuse, neglect, mistreatment, um, treated with dignity. I, I think that one's really important. Well, the first one here, to me, is absolutely a no-brainer. The right to live in a caring environment free from abuse, mistreatment, and neglect. That's what you expect if you're gonna go into a long-term care. You might not always get that. And in the past, nursing homes in years past were pretty, pretty bad, but they're much better today. Okay. Not perfect, we know that from some issues that have happened just recently, but, um, but they're much better. But they're better because people recognized that they needed to have uh, some guidance and laws about what people could expect. Um, I like the one too that accommodates, personal care accommodates the physical, medical, emotional, and social needs of an individual. Um, my mother, as you know, has been in long-term care a long time. Uh, all of a sudden, she could no longer take showers. A shower frightened her. You know, she had taken showers all Alzheimer's. her life. She has Alzheimer's. And she had taken showers all of her life, and all of a sudden, a shower frightened her. And so she had the right to take a bath. Well, they would have done that anyway, but I mean, it, it was her right to have a bath rather okay. than. So this is, it's the Residence Bill of Rights. If people want to get a copy of this, how do they do it? They can go to our website, which is www.mcqc.com, and, um, we will have it on there for them and they can print it off. Okay. We also have a, a, a checklist for people who are looking for long-term care, uh, which is, these are things you should be looking for if you're looking for a nursing home or long-term care facility. Okay. And so they can go to the Missouri Coalition for Quality Care website. Yes. You can, you can uh, download and print out the information for the yes. Residence Bill of Rights, and you can also get a whole checklist of things to look for if you are looking for a long-term care yes. facility. Yes, For it's, you or for someone And that we have a, a 800 number, it's 888-262-5644. And if they have any questions, they can call, they'll leave a message, and one of our board members will return the call. Okay, give us that number again. 888 Two six two five six four four. Okay, and Bickle, thank you so much for coming by. Missouri Coalition for Quality Care. Pleasure visiting with you. And some, it's always uh, my some pleasure to be good here. Good information here. All right. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.